Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna react to an animated story time about a girl who's allergic to the cold. Hello, I'm Karen, and today I'll share with you how my disease complicated my life and got me in trouble. Okay, so her name is Karen, which means we're definitely in for a treat. Sierra and I have been best friends since kindergarten. We used to do everything together, and by everything, I literally mean everything. She was also the only one who knew about my cold allergy. At the age of five, I was diagnosed with a rare disease called cold urticaria? Cold urticaria? I've never heard of that disease before. It seems pretty self-explanatory. She's allergic to the cold. There's a good old saying that you learn something new every single day and I guess we've learned something new from an animated story time. Which means that I get a severe skin rash whenever I get exposed to cold. That meant I had to stay warm all the time. I couldn't enjoy eating ice cream or drinking ice smoothies so my body temperature wouldn't go down. That honestly must suck. Like imagine not being able to eat ice cream. To be fair, I haven't eaten ice cream in a long time. I think the last time I ate it was like a couple months ago. I did have an ice pop last night, but that is an ice cream. She must love summer. But then she also can't go out during winter, which must suck. And in winter, I had to wear multiple layers. I always looked like a giant bear with my super huge raincoats. I also couldn't enjoy playing in the snow, and Sierra would always come to my house and spend time with me inside. That seems like a really good friend. Like Sierra's literally coming into her house to stay with her while everyone's playing out in the snow. I'm not gonna lie, playing in the snow is kind of over Rated. It's fun for about 10 minutes and then you get cold and want to die. In all of these animations, something bad always happens. So I wonder if Sierra's gonna turn on her. She was the best. However, that all changed when we got to high school. Sierra came from a rich family. Her dad owns a chain of fast food restaurants across the country. My parents, on the other hand, were both teachers. They barely made it from month to month. They've basically hinted to us that Sierra's gonna be a bad person. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I always predict these things happening in these videos. Like I'm telling you guys, I'm literally an alien. When students knew that she was rich, they all wanted to become friends with her. Guys wanted to invite her to their activities and boys wanted to date her, but they always invited her alone. That must look he suck for her because like people literally only want her for her money. Like if that happened to me, I'd honestly hate it. Imagine people only wanting you for your money. It must suck. No one wanted me to join. One time, Alice, one of the most popular girls, approached us while we were having lunch and invited Sierra to her birthday party. And then she added, the invitation is for you only. Ew, why she She's so sassy. There's no need to do that. I don't go to birthday parties. Like, I can't remember the last time I went to one. I think the last birthday party I was at was when I was 14 or 15. I'm 18. Like, that's so scary. Like, I can literally do anything. It's terrifying. I kind of miss being a child. Like, I low-key wish I could go back in time and stay 15 forever. I knew that she wanted to get under my skin with that comment, but I couldn't care less. I told Sierra to go. I didn't like Alice anyway. After that, Sierra started getting tons of invitations, and we stopped seeing each other as much. That's literally me of all of my friends like since my friends can go out and drink alcohol in like bars and pubs they've literally completely ditched me i don't have any friends in northern ireland i've got one friend in england called marina and she's my only friend it's kind of sad but i also kind of like it because like being on your own is so peaceful i just couldn't see myself going out to bars and getting drunk i'm just not that type of a person then something unexpected happened during chemistry class the teacher assigned all the students to work in pairs i had to work with hudson the hottest boy at school why does this happen in every Every single animation. The main character always falls in love with like another boy and then their best friend steals him. I'm telling you right now, Sierra's definitely gonna snatch him. He was the captain of the football team. Hudson and I started working on the project together, but soon enough, he confessed his feelings for me. I knew this was coming. They're gonna date, have a baby, and then Sierra's gonna steal him and then he's gonna come like crawling back. It happens every single animation, so I know it's coming. And we started dating. Hudson was the cutest. He cared for me so much that he came to drive me to school every day. For the first time in my life, I felt like a princess, but somehow Sierra didn't like that. I told you guys Sierra's gonna snatch him. It's gonna happen. You guys better smash that subscribe button because I'm telling you right now, I'm literally a genius. Like, I protect everything. If you don't like this video and subscribe, something bad will happen to you. When she saw me walking hand in hand with Hudson, she was surprised. She came rushing and asked, are you two a couple? I answered happily, yes, <laughs> I haven't had the chance to tell you because you seem always busy lately. How about we I'll go for dinner together. Sierra added with a strange look. Sure, I'd love to get to know my best friend's BF. Best friend's BF? You literally haven't seen her in a long time, so you're not really best friends, are you? I feel like a lot of people are like Sierra, like they act all nice and like an amazing person. And then whenever you distance from them, they just start acting different. It's definitely because she's hanging out with a different group. Like I see it happen all the time. And that's why I don't do friendships or relationships. I just have me and my closest friends. I'm telling you right now, if Marina turns into Sierra, I'll literally like break, like I will lose 
say it. I smiled and we agreed to meet at this fast food restaurant. But the moment we walked in, Sierra had a disgusted look on her face and said, I can't eat here. Let's go to another restaurant. I'll pay. I didn't like it, but I said nothing because Hudson didn't seem to mind. But things like this kept happening. Whenever the three of us were hanging out, Sierra would pick the most expensive place of all and pay for us all. She's definitely trying to show off to Hudson. I told you she's going to try and steal him. Hudson liked it, but I was embarrassed and hurt by her way of showing off her money. Honestly, the best thing for you to do right now is to just completely cut her off. I love how I'm telling her to do that when we're literally going to see what's going to happen. Like, this is an animation, so it's already happened. I just know that she's going to steal him. Like, I know what's going to happen. So I stopped inviting her to hang out with us. But then her birthday came and she wanted to do something extravagant. She booked an exclusive ski trip, hotel, and plane tickets and invited her closest friends, including Hudson and I, for free. She's doing that because she's going to try and seduce Hudson. I'm telling you right now, her and all her rich petty girls are going to try and snatch him. Don't go on the holiday. When Sierra handed me the invitation, she said, Oh, Karen, sorry if you can't make it. I had a feeling that she did that on purpose, so I responded, Oh, don't worry, I'm coming. My parents freaked out when they heard I was going on the trip. Being in cold weather would definitely increase my rash and all my body would be swollen, but I didn't care. I didn't want to leave Hudson and Sierra alone for four days. Well, if you're going to go, Hudson shouldn't go. I just realized that Sierra had done that on purpose. Like, she knows that her ex-best friend has a problem with the cold. So, of course, she chose to go to a really cold place to do a cold activity. I'm telling you right now, Sierra's got a cold heart and she needs to get away from her. So, I packed up my things and went. And I wish I didn't. I spent all my time in the hotel. I couldn't go outside. Hudson asked me multiple times, come with us. I'll teach you how to ski. But I had to lie and say, I don't like skiing. I prefer reading. Go have fun and I'll wait for you here. You need to tell him that you've got a problem with the cold because I'm telling you right now he's going to cheat on you. Sierra is going to snatch him. I can literally see it coming. Hudson and Sierra stayed together all the time. I saw their stories on Instagram and Snapchat and I felt my blood boil. If I was dating Hudson, I would not let that happen. I'm telling you right now, I'd literally have him like a dog. I put a collar around his neck so he could get nowhere near her. On the last day of the trip, however, while I was having coffee in the hotel's lobby, I saw Sierra and Hudson kiss outside in the snow. I told you I knew it was going to happen. You guys, I don't know what's up with me. Maybe it's because all these animations are always exactly the same, but I always know what's going to happen. Like, I literally am a genius. I am from the future. I couldn't believe my eyes, but I wasn't imagining things. They were really kissing. I couldn't contain myself. I just gave up ignoring all the alarms going through my head. I screamed at them. What the hell is this? Hudson was startled, but Sierra had a twisted smile on her face, and she said, you don't deserve him. You can't even join his activity. You're also a freak. She's a freak because you can't go out into the snow, sweetheart. You are deluded. She's out in the cold and she's literally gonna have like a heart attack or like cardiac arrest. I'm telling you right now, she's gonna start vibrating in a minute. She grabbed some snow with her hands and she threw it on my face. I was shocked to hear Sierra say such awful things. It took seconds for the rash to pop and then cover all over my body. I was swollen and then I passed out. So her ex-best friend just attempted to murder her. Hello, you need to get the investigators in. Like they literally need to arrest her and charge her with attempted murder. I woke up in the hospital feeling dizzy. I saw my parents sitting beside my bed. They looked worried. They told me that my body went into shock. It needed three days to recover. I went back to school hoping that Sierra would apologize to me. Oh, she is not going to apologize. Sierra is cold in the heart. You're meant to be allergic to cold things, so get away from Sierra. She's literally a snake. She's awful. But instead, I found that she spread rumors about me saying that I was a gold digger and I was her best friend because she used to give me expensive gifts. I don't know what she told Hudson, but he too believed the lies she told. He only sent a message saying, we are no longer together. I was enraged. I needed to take revenge. I knew that Sierra took pride in her long blonde hair. She took really good care of it. What she needs to do is to break into her bathroom and put anti-hair removal cream into her like shampoo. She'll turn into a baldy pop like she'll literally look like an egg. So while she was in sports class, I replaced her shampoo with a similar bottle that had hair removal cream. When she took a shower later and got out, she was half bald. I heard her loud scream coming from the girl's bathroom. She was hysterical. I mean, to be fair, she has got money, so she'll probably just put a wig or a wave on. I love whenever people do evil stuff, like I love karma. And came straight to me and threatened me. You'll pay for this. <laughs> I was so happy seeing her go ballistic. All the other students just laughed at her crazy. But unfortunately, I couldn't stay and enjoy that view. The principal called me to his office and I was expelled. So she got expelled for making her ex-best friend bald, but her ex-best friend is a 
allowed in this school whenever she literally tried to murder her. I'm telling you, schools are sketchy, like they're so back forwards, they're literally useless. Sierra is being the typical white privilege bully, and whenever the person who's getting bullied tries to fight back, they get punished. This is what I hate about schools because they all do this. But I couldn't care less. I told my parents that I didn't want to live there anymore, and we decided to move to Florida because it was warm all year round. I moved to a new school and I kept a low radar. I didn't make any real friends and I kept the secret to myself. That's the best way to be. That's literally how I am. Whenever you realize that you don't rely on people, it's the best feeling ever. I literally just keep to myself. I'll go for a walk, eat healthy, do my work, which is my videos, and then just speak to you guys and watch YouTube and play games. Why do I need to go and interact with other people? Obviously, if I need to, I will, but like, I don't need to. I love it. Honestly, it's so peaceful. But Sierra's rumor stuck with me. I wasn't a gold digger. And to prove her wrong, I focused on my studies and graduated. And then I studied finance and business administration in college. I think we're currently watching a future millionaire. I'm telling you, she's going to become really minted and Sierra's family's going to lose all of their wealth. Sierra ain't going to be so happy anymore, is she? I was working extremely hard and I started my own company at 23 years old. It was not long until I became one of the youngest successful women in the country. But I always had to be careful. I managed my work from home because I hated air conditioners. My employees always wanted to have a meeting with me, but I couldn't. Most of the time I had online business meetings, and if I had to go, I would wear clothes that looked ridiculous in summer, and even in the winter. I became rich, and I was able to help my parents quit their jobs and retire. I don't know if I've reacted to this video before. I swear all of these animated story times are exactly the same. All the stories are identical, but just in different formats, like different fonts. Am I the only one who's realized that? Like, I swear I've watched this video before. I don't know if I have. Maybe I have. I don't know. But I was lonely. I didn't have the courage to date other men because of what happened with Hudson. But then I met Zane. We met at a business conference for young entrepreneurs. The conference was in Hawaii, which was perfect for me. I went to the beach every afternoon and sunbathed without getting into the water. So one afternoon, Zane approached me and asked, are you afraid of the water? I looked at him suspiciously and asked with a cautious tone, what do you mean? But he simply said, I've been watching you for a couple of days and you never seem to go in. I'm not gonna lie, that seems a bit sketchy to me. That seems a bit sus. How are you gonna walk up to somebody and be like, I've been watching you for a couple of days. I don't know if Zane's the perfect man. Honestly, I feel like he's a Hudson 2.0. The water is lovely, you know. I immediately took a deep breath. His comment was innocent. And for the first time in my life, I felt like sharing. So I said, I can't. If I go in there, I might die. Zane was shocked and interested in hearing the whole story. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Did you see both their facial expressions? That was a really weird face. Why are these animations doing this? Like that literally freaked me out. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. So I told him. He was so compassionate towards me. We ended up talking all afternoon and then spending all of our time together. We started dating for a while and then we got married. I was so happy with the way things turned out. You might be happy with the way things turned out, but that seemed to go quite quickly. She literally met him, they started dating and then they got married. Like how long does this story go on for? Did this all happen within a year? Like come on, anybody story times, tell me the answers. I thought I finally had my happy ending. I was rich, I had everything I needed, and I had a loving husband who really cared for me. She just said, I thought I had my happy loving ending, whatever it is. Something bad's gonna happen, Sierra or Hudson's gonna come running back, I know it. But then I woke up one night to drink some water and I noticed that Zane wasn't next to me. And before I got to the kitchen, I heard his voice coming from his office. It's not the right time yet. She's totally in love with me, but I need more time until she trusts me with her money. I felt like an elephant sat on my chest. I literally feel like I've just been punched in the face. That was a plot twist I didn't see coming. I told you something was fishy about Zane. He's literally Hudson 2.0. I bet you Zane, Hudson and Sierra are all working together. They're all the free cheater tears. I don't know. They're all evil. Was Zane planning something behind my back? I heard his footsteps, so I rushed back to my bed and pretended to be asleep, but my heart was pounding. The next day, I acted like everything was okay. We had breakfast like usual, and I even kissed him goodbye. You've got money. You need to do a private investigation in him. Literally hire somebody to stalk him and see what he's doing see who he's speaking to, what he's emailing to people. Do whatever you can to catch him red-handed and then dump him. But as soon as he left the house, I called a private detective and asked him to investigate Zane. What is going on? Like, I swear I'm predicting every single thing in this video. Am I the only one who's realized that? Like, I literally feel like a Superman right now. I feel like so amazing. I'm telling you right now, the FBI need to sign me up because I'll solve every single case within five minutes. And what I found was shocking. Zane was Sierra's personal assistant. She was in the conference in Hawaii and saw me there. And when she knew that I became richer than her, she teamed up with Zane so they could rob me or at least get half of my fortune when we got a divorce. I couldn't believe that Sierra still held
held a grudge after all these years. I also felt sick to my stomach. The only man that I invited to my life wanted to hurt me. And that's why you shut off your life to everyone. Obviously not everyone, like you have to let at least some people in. But be very careful with who your friends with, speak to, are in a relationship with, because they could literally be like Zane and be plotting to ruin your life. I was so in love with him that for a second, I thought that I could convince him to forget about Sierra and to stay with me. But I was smarter than that. So I took all the evidence that the detective collected and I hired a lawyer. I had to divorce him. Zane was shocked when he saw the divorce papers. He couldn't get a penny from me because I threatened him that if he asked for money, I would send all the evidence to the police and he would be in jail. Honestly, you should do that either way. Put him and Sienna in jail. It's payback. They deserve it. As for Sierra, I threatened her with the same thing. I told her that if she ever tried to mess with me again, I would ruin her life. Sierra was terrified by the idea of jail and she paid me two million dollars to keep my mouth shut. I mean, that's pretty good hush money. I want to know where Sierra's getting all this money from because like this girl's obviously successful, but where's Sierra getting her money from? Like I want to know what she's doing so I can get money. I sold the house Zane and I used to live in and I went to live with my parents so I could raise my child in peace. Yes, I found out after the divorce that I was pregnant with a baby girl. I called her Amy. I was thrilled when I had her. Amy was so beautiful. She had Zane's eyes and chin, but unfortunately she had my disease. We found that out when she turned seven years old. I cried my eyes out that day. She was playing with her friends outside. One of them opened the plastic water pipe and aimed it at her. The water was cold and she soon developed a rash. Her friends started screaming when they saw her. I rushed outside and I held her in my arms and took her to the hospital. Honestly, that must suck. Like, I really do feel bad for her. She's literally got her mother's condition. It's obviously bad, but it's also kind of good because at least the daughter has somebody else who can relate to her and speak to her about it. Like, she's not the only person in the world who's got the disease. A nice doctor treated her. I explained to him her condition and he calmed me down. He told me to get out of the room so he could treat her. Luckily, two hours later, the doctor got out and assured me that Amy had made it. She needed to stay a few more days in the hospital. I let out a sigh of relief and I thanked the doctor who couldn't take his eyes off me. It's Hudson, I'm telling you right now, it's Hudson. I swear that's literally Hudson. The following days, he came by every day to say hi and check up on us. And on our last day in the hospital, he came over to me and said, I kind of need to see Amy more. Can I visit her? Or would you prefer telling me more about her over a date? I felt butterflies in my stomach. It had been seven years since I went out with any man, so I said yes. Two days later, I took Amy and went to meet the doctor in the park. We decided that it would be more fun if the first date was a fun one. Amy also needed to breathe fresh air. She's literally invited this man in her life very quickly. I don't know why, but I've got a gut feeling it's Hudson. Like, I literally know it's him. But while we were playing with her on the sand, I noticed that someone was watching me from afar. I looked closely, and it was Zane. He was looking back and forth between Amy and me. I knew that he figured out that Amy was his. You see, I never told him that I was pregnant. I grabbed Amy's hands abruptly and apologized to the doctor, who looked confused with my strange behavior. I went home and I immediately booked two flight tickets to California. I will never let him take my child. Oh my god, the video just ended there. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the subscribe button and yes, I will see you all in my next video.